Honey, I feel like I'm in charge. <laughs> it's the shoulder patterns for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara Renee. If you are new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, it is a three-in-one or a four-in-one get ready with me hair, makeup, outfit, and fragrance. So it is four in one. <laughs> um, it really felt good to film this video for you guys because I haven't filmed a sit down makeup related type of video. It's been a couple months and the last time I filmed the get ready with me, I believe was April or something like that. So yeah, but I do have quite a few, um, well not, I wouldn't say quite a few, but I do have some more, you know, um, get ready with me's and makeup videos coming out on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. I know y'all be looking out for that y'all y'all at my necks right now okay like, I, I feel it but i'm here with the get ready with me okay so um i'm going to my friends all white birthday dinner and i really love how this entire look turned out my hair and makeup like i absolutely love it and what do i always say i am all the way here for it i really really love it let me get close did a brown smoky eye love it but yes everything will be down in the description box below so check that out so if you're interested in seeing how i got all dealt up then keep on watching hey you guys welcome back to another video wow i haven't done a sit down makeup type of video in such a long time um so today i'm actually going out for my friend's birthday she's having a dinner later on so i was like why not film you know this um get ready with me i know this makeup process will probably take a while and i also want to film a get not get a get ready with me but i want to is it film like a tiktok get ready with me type of video because why not i'm just gonna prime Ooh, what is going on what is this Y'all, there's just a lot going on right now. I don't know where that came from. I got to re-up on some products and all of that. So, all right, y'all. So this is not a dedicated makeup video. It's a get ready with me. So check the description box for all the details, um, you know, products that I use. So I got to just like fly through this because like I said, pressed for time. I don't know why I do this to myself. I wanted to give myself enough time to get ready but by the looks of it i don't know well let me not talk too soon let me get this on and then we can go from there so to blend out my foundation I hope I'm not forgetting anything because my mind is just racing right now, completely all over the place. I don't wanna to get too much makeup in my hairline or too much in the edges. So I wanna just take my time with that. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep blending until this is all blended out. If it comes to anything, I need to make sure that the complexion, the base part of my makeup is blended out. Okay. Once all of that is blended well, then girl, I know I'm good. I know I'm good. Oh, for foundation, I mixed two NARS foundations to give me my shade. And it, it looks good, okay? Because Macau alone was just too light. Too, too, too light for me.
So I already added some concealer onto the lids. Tonight's makeup look is going to be my infamous brown smoky eye. I just want to keep the makeup very, very simple. Well, the eye makeup very simple. Um, so I'm just going in with a dark brown eyeshadow all over the lid for tonight. And let me tell y'all something. You can never go wrong with a brown smoky eye, okay? That is my absolute favorite, even in the summertime. I won't do something too, too dark for the summer. I'll do something a little bit lighter in, you know, a brown shade, but it will always be a brown lid for me. Okay, y'all, it is finally fall. Like, Jesus, it is so cold outside today. Well, I'm already freezing in my room. And I'm drinking a cold drink, which is not making it any easier for me. So, like, I can tell by the color of my lips that I am extremely cold right now. Um, tonight's fit is going to be super duper, duper bomb. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So, I'm just trying to <laughs> hurry up and do this makeup portion and get this out of the way because I do have my hair to curl and I want to give myself enough time to curl my hair. I don't like rushing when I um, do my hair. And as you guys can see, my hair is down. So I want to give my hair all the proper timing that it will need to curl it because I want the curls to look super duper good tonight. If I was doing like a ponytail or a bun, trust me, like, I wouldn't even be rushing the way I'm rushing right now or trying to hurry up. But it's the hair that I'm worried about. I also got to make sure that I have enough time afterwards to film a TikTok. Did I mention that to you guys? Honestly, I do not remember. I'm just all over. Like, what? You guys cannot go wrong with a nice smoky eye, a brown smoky eye at that. Have you guys seen those makeup artists on Instagram? Their clients, they kill the brown smoky eyes. So, baby, if you're not if you're not hip to it, you better get hip to it. What am I going to do? Ooh, where did I put my? There we go. I put away the wrong concealer. I'm done with the eyes. Now I'm going to add some concealer and blend that out and set and all that good stuff. I already I always tell you guys whenever I apply my concealer i always gotta let it sit before i blend it out um i just want there to be enough coverage under the eye because tonight i want my makeup to pop okay i want my makeup to be all up in your face that's what i want tonight so yeah let's quickly rush through this process Every single time I'm blending out my concealers, my nose want to start itching me. Why? Right now is not the time to be itching. Not the time. Make sure y'all blend this bad boy out. I'm telling y'all to blend like y'all blending. <laughs> One thing I really want to get into though is blending out my concealers with brushes and step away from beauty sponges because it can be a little messy okay i'm gonna give y'all an updated like in-depth makeup routine i know y'all want to want to know <laughs> okay now that that is fully blended out um i do want my under eyes to pop tonight so I'm going in with some more concealer. This is Too Faced Latte. I'm gonna let this sit under the eyes for a bit 
and then get to blending and then i have to go straight to oh why does this feel the way it feels Listen, one thing about me, I will milk the living daylights out of a song once I discover it. Like, can we say obsessed? Obsessed. Now it's time for me to get rid of this powder. Ooh, child, I know I be looking quite ashy on camera. And my hands are super duper dry because I had to wash my beauty blenders. But I'm just dusting away and patting and dusting and like pressing in oh i'm, I'm doing a lot okay <laughs> i'm doing a lot i'm doing a lot i know i'll be looking ghosty white but this is gonna come together okay and you guys saw me apply some powder on my eyebrows i have to because they will eventually get oily throughout the day well in this case the night and i cannot be having that i'm going in with this mac powder what shade is this one nc50 just pressing this brush in and getting rid of that ashy type of look i don't know if you guys can see it on camera even though it is bright again i do want a bright under eye over here looks more controlled while over here still has like a white cast I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing on camera. Well, I'll be able to tell when I edit and if I can see it, then I know what I'm seeing, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can. The TikTok girlies be, you know, sharing a lot of makeup gems, okay? They are talking about, I heard something like, um, when you blend out your concealer, go in with a pressed powder to like set but add a, like a, a thin layer or something like that and then go on top with your loose powder. But for me, I do the opposite way. I like to, I have to go in with my loose powder because a pressed powder is just a little bit of product on the brush. And again, I crease under my eyes, so I cannot be having that. There's just no time for, for me to do that. Like, no, for me to do it the way I said the TikTok girlies be talking, I gotta do it the other way, okay? Gotta do it the other way. I'm going in with my Juvia bronzer palette. And we are going to set this contour. This is coming together, okay? It's coming together. So I'm going in with another Juvia. This, ooh, Jesus. This is the dark one, but I'm going in with this shade. Tapping that lightly, and we're just going to deepen this bronzer contour going on because I just want this face to be snatched, okay? I want it to be snatched notched Ooh, child, my phone is going off okay phone is going off i'm gonna come back and do the nose but i'm going to set my entire face to blend everything together
Apply some on the forehead. We need to apply powder to the entire face where there was a liquid product placed, okay? We have to set the liquid product. Now I'm going back to bronze. My nose. I think I need to get a, a much smaller brush to do my nose bronzing. I think it's a little bit too wide for my liking now. Although I've been using it for years, it was getting the job done for me. We're almost done with the powdery products. Going in with my Juvia blush. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown shade and apply this to my lower lash line. Do I wanna do something? I wanna do something real quick before I do that. And I just wanna go in with a tad bit more powder under the eye just to blend that blush line out. Okay. There's no product on the brush, but I'm just going back under my brows to blend out the eyeshadow because when I apply, when I apply, when I applied the loose powder on my brows, it kind of like faded it away just a tad bit. That is it. That is it for the powder products. Now to set my face, I had to open up a new Morphe the other day I gotta keep my eyes closed keep them closed when I'm setting my face with the setting spray this fan comes in handy it is linked to my Amazon storefront. I told you guys about it earlier in the year. So if you didn't get your hands on it, you need to go get your hands on it because girl, what is he doing? Let me get up close. Look at face. Child, my hands are so dry, but look. Y'all, I don't know if it's just me, but it looked like my edges 
moved, shifted somehow, some way, I don't know. But you guys, my face is done. Off camera, I applied my lashes, I had to. Um, if you're new here, my name is Tamara and I love voluminous, big, fluffy, extra dramatic type of lashes, okay? That is my style, that is my vibe. It suits my eyes, I believe, and I have enough eye space for it. So I'm gonna wear what works best for me, you know, what looks good on me, what I like. So yeah, just thought I'd put that out there because, mm hmm Anyways, time to do this lippy. Oh, I didn't even mention it, but this is from Buxom. This lip liner, can you guys see? I don't know if y'all can see, but it's from Buxom. It's in the shade Creamy Chocolate. And one thing I love about this um, pencil lip liner thingy is the end has a brush, so I can easily, you know, blend out that harsh line. Because you guys know I like to be extra, and I like to go in with two lip pencils, um, like a darker one to outline and then a lighter one to lightly fill. But ever since, you know, I got my hands on this and started using this, I haven't been filling in my lips because I got this brush to do that for me. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. So I'm just gonna use, let me just, I wanna position myself. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Ooh, I did a fantastic job. Now y'all see me going in with the brush. This is to blend it out. This by far is my favorite brown lip liner. Favorites. Favorite, favorite, favorite. My tweezers, they fell. But y'all look, the face. Let me bring that down. <sighs> y'all, I am in complete awe, okay? Complete awe. Ooh, I'm so happy the face is done. Um, I just had to do my lippy right now. I need to hurry up. But the face is sitting. It's it's sitting. It's really sitting. Wow. Ooh. Okay, you guys. So um I'm not entirely too sure. I'm just moving my mirror over and trying to make sure it's not being seen. But just yeah, y'all. I don't know where the hell time went, but time went somewhere. Anyway, now it's time to get on it to the hair. Super, super, duper excited. Um, this is a closure. Sorry, not a closure. This is a, what do you call it again? It's a U-part. It's a side part U-part wig, okay? Um, has the bang going on and stuff. So this is what it's looking like um i think i'm gonna have some behind the air i'm not too sure but this is what it is giving um there is a bang situation going on over here i thought i pinned it out the way properly but i don't want the bang in the way at all like at all and see, we got some some long strands in here. So I just wanna make sure to 
separate all of that. If not, I will just lightly snip. Yeah, y'all see that? I will lightly snip that if I have to. Where's the scissors? I'm snipping it right now because, hear me, using this small, that's that. And pin that completely out of the way. Um, so yeah, basically what I was saying, I feel like my mind is all over the place because I'm rushing. Ooh, I need to relax. Okay, so this is a side part, you part wig. Um, whenever you guys see my hair down like this with the extra, you know, hair, this is most likely what I'm wearing. Um, I absolutely love it. I don't remember the hair company I got this from, but it's somewhere on my channel. I will link it below. You guys can like watch the proper install and all of that. Cause yeah, that was not gonna be happening in this video because I already did that for that hair company. So anywho, I have my curling iron on. This is an oldie. This is my hot and gold um, curling iron. As you can see, she is like, she is dying, okay? focus okay there we go like she is dying she chipped can you can you guys see that chip right there she chipped um the handle is getting wobbly i don't know what happened to it exactly like i honestly do not remember um i think how it feels it felt like it fell okay but i don't recall being the one that made it fall so these are some previous curls going on in the hair. Um, I really don't have to curl it. I can just leave it, but no. We are going to freshen this up. So I'm gonna go in with a bit of this IGK Crybaby Hair Serum. We got so many dust on it. So two pumps, and I'm just going to distribute this all over my hair and the leave out. This adds some shine to it, and that's what I need. I used to be afraid of curling my hair, like with the unit on my head, because I just thought I could never get it right or do it right. But now I, you know, know what to do properly, so it's not a problem. So there is no special way of like how I curl my hair. I just do the traditional, mm -hmm. you know, curling. Child, do you guys see that scene? Mm -mm -mm. I really and truly do not need to curl this hair because the waves that are already in it from previous time I wore it, like the curls are still popping in it. I like how they fell and it's giving more of a wave than it is a curl, but these curls will fall into that. So I ain't even 
worried, okay? Really fast. Oh my gosh, you guys, we finally reached the top. Oh, you know what I just realized I did? When I snipped some hair, I just realized that I have my own hair in this, you know, section. So I don't know if I even cut a strand or two or a bit of some ends of my hair. Sweet, merciful heavens. Oh, okay. I, it's clearly I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm gonna curl this. Under, away, how? Is this a way? Is this a way? Girl, I don't know. I think it's a way. I want this to flip that way. <laughs> Now, I'm not the greatest when it comes to curling hair and getting the proper directions and all of that, but I did it. That is the way I want it to curl. Yo, I hope what I'm doing makes sense. Currently have my eyes on this flat iron. Sorry, not flat iron, a new curling iron because as you guys can see, this is busted. Um, it is busted to the point where I can feel the heat at the end of the handle where I showed you guys where it kind of like chipped off or something. Yeah, that's not fun. So I got to be really, really careful. But it's just that um, I've had this flat iron for so long, for so many years. I don't know if I should do this in one or two one or two okay i'm gonna split this because it's really chunky but i have my eyes on this flat iron um i cannot wait to get my hands on it i honestly do not remember the name it's in my amazon card i gotta go take a look but i've heard some of the girlies talk about it and i'm just like okay since this is giving up on me, <laughs> sadly, um, time to get a new one, you know? I don't want to one day, you know, be straining, or not straining, curling my hair and then it's not working or I end up hurting myself. So I'd rather be on the safe side and just get something right now because I can see something happening. Not now, but like in the future. Speaking of that, my hot comb gave up on me. I was in the middle of doing a hair video and I had it plugged in and it was on and everything. I left it there, thought it was heating up and I'm running it through like the roots of the unit. And I realized that the wax stick, you know, the wax that I applied at the top, not my hair, the wig, it wasn't melting and I'm, patting it and my head top was still cold still cold so i'm like okay this ain't working Ooh, i flipped it how i wanted it to be flipped it in the right direction i feel a little something something on my lip yeah there was some hair in there you guys, my hair looks so good. I am gonna have to comb through, brush through. See, I'm seeing, wait, let me, oh, this is my hair. Child, I'm ready to get my scissors and cut. I need a nice brush, so I'm, going in with this wide tooth comb and 
brushing through these curls because I don't want them to be perfect at all. Sweet Jesus, I think I probably cut, I don't think I cut my hair because I didn't, when I was pulling it, I didn't feel my hair at all. I didn't, so I'm good. Okay, do I wanna push behind the hair? I think I can do that. Ooh, y'all see the grays peeping through? Ooh, you guys. I am loving it. All right, if I sit here any longer, I'm just going to let time go by. Oh, what is this? I'm just gonna let time go by and I don't want, do I need to curl it? No, okay. I don't want too much time to go by because I could sit here all day and just admire my work. Really God's work. <laughs> okay, let me get dressed. I'll show you guys this fit because all right, y'all, so hair and makeup are finally done. And I love what I am seeing. This makeup turned out so well. Love how my hair turned out as well. Like, honey, it's this, this bang for me. Like, I curled it, I did a good, I did a good job curling, okay? Did a really good job with curling. All right, let's get into the outfit details. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an all white event, birthday dinner. Um, I'm gonna have pictures, you know, like inserted towards the end or maybe after I share the details for you guys to see the full look because the space with the lens I'm using, this 50 millimeter lens, uh, yeah, there's little to no space when working with this lens. But um, the top that I am wearing, it is actually a bodysuit. Um, I got this from Fashion Nova. Y'all, let me tell you something. So I was putting together an outfit in my mind. Um, I thought about wearing a nice dress or maybe looking for a nice skirt, but there was nothing that was, you know, hitting for me. So I decided to just do a nice top and pant look. So I purchased white skinny jeans also from Fashion Nova, but I don't know what took over me, but I went a size down and it's not like my regular size was gone. Um, I went a size down and got the pants and they cannot go up my hips. So thank God for other white clothing I have. I did want like a sleek, white look i did not want any holes or distress going on with the pants but i think i was going for more of a jeans look but again that didn't work out so thank god for these um white trousers that i have um honestly i don't remember where i got them from I think fashion nova but you guys the detailing of this top do you see the shoulder like this is whoops child this is absolutely everything i love the padded shoulders it's it definitely elevates the entire look like look at my shoulders look at my shoulders honey i feel like i'm in charge <laughs> it's the shoulder patterns for me okay um so <laughs> y'all i'm crazy i'm something else and because i have to wear these white long you know wide leg trousers i am forced to wear heels for the entire night and i don't know if i'm going to survive i am keeping my fingers crossed i'm praying to the lord that he can hold me because um all night in heels child it is a lot okay so the heels i'll be wearing are these beautiful bedazzled heels love them love them love them these are from public desire but i purchased them from asos i was gonna wear these other clear kitten heel um heels that i purchased from zara early in the year maybe like february march and i have yet to wear them have not worn them yet i wanted to wear those tonight but clearly child that can't happen okay or handbag um, I'm gonna be wearing my Gucci nude Marmont zip bag. Again, this is an all white party and I did wanna do a full white look like down to the bag. And the only white handbag I have is um, my Jacquemus. I don't remember the name, but you, you guys have seen that bag before. Child, that bag cannot hold anything, okay? Well, at least it can't hold anything I need for it to hold tonight. So, my nude Gucci bag it is. It is big enough, wide enough 
to hold everything that I need it to hold for tonight. Because if I was doing that Jacquemus bag, I'd have to carry an extra little bag in my hand. And child, I ain't got the time for that, okay? Don't have the time. So listen here with this fit, okay? With this fit. I had my eyes on this coat from Zara at the beginning of September. And you know, I put it in my cart, but I kept delaying it, delaying it, delaying it. And then when I finally purchased the, the top and the pant originally, I was like, okay, let me just give in. Let me buy this coat because this coat is gonna go so well, so perfect with this fit. Um, I definitely could have worn my camel coat, but I didn't want to. And I don't have a coat of this color. So I was like, you know what? Let me get my hands on it. So it did say on the site that it runs big in size or something like that. So I ended up getting this coat from Zara. Ooh, child, my ring is getting stuck in it. This coat right here, it is this beautiful cream. It's like an off-white um, wool blend, you know, textured coat going on here. I absolutely love it. And I was just like, this is going to be so perfect to wear with tonight's fit. Um, my plan is to wear this draped off my shoulders. Like, I don't want to put my arms through it. But if I have to, I will, it won't hurt. Next, let's get into the jewelry because I know y'all be asking for the jewelry. So you guys know how much I love me some gold. I am a yellow gold girl when it comes to my jewelry. But as you guys can see, like I'm mixing it. Um, for some fits, and I feel for some looks, you know, the bedazzled silver white gold look really, really works. So I am currently like testing out the white gold look. Um, I don't just wanna dive into purchasing white gold and then I really don't like it even, like I just don't wanna go through that. So I feel it's safe for me to just purchase a few sterling silver pieces. So the necklaces that you see me wearing, this is a tennis necklace and then this is just a plain, well not a plain, well the chain is plain, but the cross is a little bedazzled you know, necklace. Um, I purchased these from Lolita. I got them, when did I purchase them? I purchased them a year ago. So I have no idea if they're still on the site, but I'm glad I got them. My earrings, these teardrop earrings that you guys see me wear a couple times, they're also sterling silver. Purchased them from um, Lolita. And then, you know, my rings, um, this silver ring right here. Can you guys see? Yeah, that ring right here. Sterling silver, also from Lolita. And then I got my Michael Cole, Michael Kohl's, Michael Kors gold watch. She's a beauty, she's my girl. I love this watch so much. And then, you know, some bracelets, some ring candy over here. And yeah, and for tonight's scent, you guys, I've had my eyes on this perfume for quite some time. I ended up like deciding, okay, I'm gonna get this perfume. And this was after I came back from Aruba. But child, God is good, okay? God is so good because I didn't have to buy the perfume. I got it in PR. Um, so I was shocked, I was happy, I was so excited, I was surprised, and just overall thankful. So the perfume that I'll be wearing tonight is Mugler Alien Goddess. You guys, this smells absolutely amazing okay and i know i already have my necklaces on but i'm spring anyway mm. and you guys know i love to go crazy when it comes to the perfume mm. child this is the look this is the vibe i smell so good i look so good i feel good too and that's what really really matters y'all this is the look is the look I really love him all right my loves so this brings me to the end of today's video I will try to link everything down in the description box below and I say try because if I'm unable to find a link for it then I can't link it but everything else will have a link if I'm able to find a link for it you get you know what I'm saying? What I can, I'll link, and what I can't won't be linked. Or I'm trying to find something similar um, so you guys can achieve this same 
look, okay? Again, everything will be down in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram at Tamara Renee. I will have the pictures posted on there, so check it out. And follow me on TikTok at Tamara.Renee. I've been using TikTok lately, you know, I've been using it. I've really been using it and I've been enjoying it. TikTok is fun. I feel TikTok, you can be more of yourself and have fun where Instagram is a lot more serious and it's like everything gotta be so perfect or whatever. But yeah, anyways, follow me on there and my blog, TamaraRenee.com. Um, I'm, I'm going to do better. <laughs> I'm going to do better. I keep advertising my blog, which I mean, if I don't, who will? And I haven't really posted much on there, but I promise I'm going to be posting on there. I promise, I promise, I promise. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.